language. I, I love Seamus Heaney's use of Irish. When I've talked to the poet Michael Longley, he says it's one of the great disappointments of his life that he wasn't able to draw on the richness of the Irish language in poetry. I have friends who are Irish language speakers and they speckle my vocabulary with the old word like slan or chine. Um, and it's just there right in front of me. And it seems like the most obvious thing in the world when you live on this island to become associated with a language that's associated with this island, which bubbles up from the earth of this island. So the better question to ask is why not get involved? And uh, I'm not worried about the politicization debates and all that kind of thing. People can have their own views and all of that. For me, this is about the beauty of a language. It's about a connection with a people and a culture. It's about enjoying a poetry tradition that I currently have no access to, but I want to have an access to it. Just as I might learn French to become associated with a French philosophical tradition, why not? The LIFA 2015 initiative, which I believe you have signed up for, do you think that's going to make it easier for people who aren't from maybe a nationalist tradition to get involved with all of it? Well, it might do, and I know that there are quite a few Northern Protestants who have joined up to LIFA, so uh, I guess there's some evidence of that. Um, and when I talk to people, I mean, I, I remember when there, there seemed to be a bit of more of an embattled atmosphere to the Irish language debate. I think there's less of an embattled at atmosphere. I mean, I think people like me, Northern Protestants from that background, are, are much less threatened by, by a linguistic tradition than in the past. Of course, there are others who are still threatened. And, you know, and they can answer for themselves and they can make their own case. Uh, but I sense a, a change in the air about Irish in this, in this country. I, 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 I just sense that people are more open to discovery, to adventure. Well, see them go well in that. Togo Sean Johnson and Leifa in Togmai, Tashek Spragu Kidwai Dini, Lishan Gaelic Olam, Tashek Kerr, Sim, Spragu Sim, Sigilic, Mas Dini, Nakro, Winchaku Lishan Gaelic Rivershaw, Thaidnagam or Dini on Fubble Fathers to Naka Tag Golden Nod, Thaidnagam or Dini on Fubble Fulanak Tag Golden Nod, so Tash Anwai and Doya go out, Shex Egg Torch, Kenyal, Sul Urma Smilat or Angelic, August a Kerr. Bree of the spree, River Rudder Fat. So, Chen Gawilla, Molu, Warlock, All Hick, and Ira, Fahanya, and Samuinu, August and Togra, Kirk, and Tussi, August Tamaj, and Yishinia, and Cusper, and Wenchamak. Go on, Nismona, Mele, Dinan, so, and Nisha, and Nastoya, and Gahimich, Togler, Shin, August Murdurch, Denegan, and Shin Bay, Tamaj, Kainsfield, Leafa, 
Now we have a quick check. The story of the Revision of the Magic of the Life 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 of Oh, it's great event. Um, I, I think bringing back, bringing together so, so many people who have a love for the language, uh, people like maybe maybe with little facility in the language, but a love for the language. No, it's great. I, th I think it's a, it's a fabulous event, and hopefully, we'll, again, we'll kickstart Leafa. Okay, you were saying earlier you signed up yourself. What are your hopes and uh, aspirations for the language? Well, I, 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 I've tried over the last 13, 14 years to pick up the language now and again. Um, and always through, well my excuse is pressure and, and, and busyness, but I, I'm, I, I'm really serious this time. And I'm hoping through having signed up for LIFA that uh, I'll, I'll, I'll gain more of a, a facility in the language and, and be able to speak, speak it and be fluent by 2015. A uh, very special day, great to be in Belfast City Hall yeah. with our Mayor Nalo Dunlan. What's your thoughts? I think it's great. I mean, I think Nalo Dunlan has given great leadership in the city anyway. And his own background kind of speaks for itself. But, you know, him hosting an event like this actually helps the initiative around LIFA. Um, because it's almost a context to talk about LIFA, but it's also about him giving really good positive leadership around the language. And as someone who grew up in Belfast City, not too far from here, never felt the city hall belonged to anybody, even the kids in and all, you know, here now and here today, you know, Belfast has changed. Niall has done a really good job. We've still loads of work and we're still some places that we need to go, things we need to do. But see around the language and around leadership in the city, like Niall O'Donnell has a hard act to follow. So there's some great yarns, especially from Led about global Gilliga. Yeah. Um, and that must be very encouraging in terms of your initiative. It is actually because we were in New York in August around the World Place and Fire Games coming to Belfast in 2013. And while we were there, we went out to the Irish Arts Centre in uh, Mid Manhattan. Loads of people learning Irish, absolutely bunged all wee different rooms. It could have been in Clonard or in Culterland or anywhere. And the whole, when I was talking about what I was trying to do around the language, it just really you know, captured the imagination that they're going to try and do something similar. Because um, there's no agenda with it, it's really just about learning. So it making it easy for people to learn. And it's about for Gil Gurry, who feel of nothing left to give, that they can always give a wee bit back. And really, life was ideal for that. Um, but yeah, uh, going to Wales, going to, um, talking about the, the, the Breton and Manx, and, Cornish and Scotch Gaelic. It's just literally lifted and a lot of people feel that they could use LIFA in their local parliament or council or whatever and we're happy to assist. So it's good stuff.